Hey everyone, today I am working on a quick warm up portrait and I thought I would record it. So I'm using a photo reference uh, for my portrait uh, just as a guidance, but I won't really be making a uh, true resemblance of it. It's just to be able to capture the lights and darks and just really as a guideline. So. I'm using a, a large uh, Purdy's paintbrush from the paint store, the hardware store. And I'm using dioxazine purple. Now I've started this on a messy background that I've uh, been wiping a paintbrush off on. And there's all kinds of colors in there. But I tried to pick up on, on the palette of the underpainting in case some of it shows through uh, which I hope it does, and informs this gal. So this is on a um, piece of paper. It's Strathmore mixed media paper in an 18 by 24 inch size. I do like the Strathmore painting pads. They take a lot of abuse and um, the size 18 by 24 matches up perfectly with a cradled panel to later mount any of these successful pieces on. It makes it a win-win uh, because I can store them in a drawer without taking a lot of space. So now you've seen that I filled in the background, uh, negative painted, and I'm putting some light around on the shoulder. And starting to get some of these shadows in, seeing the lights and the darks. So the value is really important to create a dimensional form. Otherwise you end up with a, a very flat looking surface. So here I'm using India ink, waterproof India ink, and I like it, it's very fluid. And right now I'm out of black paint. So this is my substitute and it may smear and mark some, but I do like how it's fluid and, and it drips, and because this is just an exercise, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm just practicing, and I hope that you practice too. So I like the drips, and I've really loaded up my brush to get them, and I'm gonna just grab this water bottle and mist it and get them running even more. Always a great way to loosen up. I'm adding some white highlights to the nose and the paint underneath is still wet so I'm picking up some of that so it's, it's blending right on the paper and trying to shape those eyes a little bit more. So just really watch your values and here I'm adding some lights in with um, the yellow ochre mixed with white. Still trying to preserve some of that underpainting. And it's okay if I if I don't end up with any of it left, but it's always nice to see a little bit peeking through. This is the third color in my palette and it is Violet Oxide and I mixed it with white. It makes a fairly uh, interesting skin tone. Uh, it's not a color that I use a lot but I have a big tub of it and I'm trying to really use paint that I have on hand instead of buying more paint. So. Acrylic paint has a shelf life and it doesn't last forever, so it is good to go through your supplies and look at those colors that are sitting there that for some reason you bought and aren't using. Always a good discipline and who knows, you might discover something. So again, coming in with more yellows. A 
lightening up around her eye, putting some highlights. So the whole process is just really adding, subtracting, changing, layering. Nothing is precious. Uh, it's just trying to get some interest down in a short period of time. Now I'm using a white color shaper here to just move my paint around and mess it up a little bit. Adding back some more color. Changing the shape of her lips a bit. Adding a bit of dark in places and under, under the chin. Again, moving it around a bit with my color scraper. And I'm going to leave her at that. My time is up.